Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is really exciting because we are reviewing the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Coverage Foundation and we are also reviewing the L'Oreal Paris Blend Artist Infallible Concealer Blender Sponge. They do have three new sponges, but I only picked up one because they're like $8 a piece and I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if those ones would be really that different. There's a concealer one, there's a contour one, and then there's also just like a regular sponge that kind of looks like, ah, <laughs> that kind of looks like this one from e.l.f. So sorry b before we get started for my voice. I know it sounds bad, but I really wanted to film for you guys and I really don't feel that bad. I just kind of sound sick. So I really apologize in advance. This is going to be a first impression video. I have not tried this out. I actually just picked this up from Walgreens. I went to Walgreens because I was looking for the Wet n Wild found like all their new face products. I found this. This has only been found I think at Bed Bath & Beyond that I've heard of and then I saw it at Walgreens so I, I flipped out a little bit because I was just not expecting to see it at all. Yes, I'm so excited. I found it. And then I wanted to try out this concealer sponge because it is more pointed. This uh, e.l.f. sponge I really love, but it doesn't have a great point to get into the inner corner. So I wanted to see if this would be any different. So before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social medias. But other than that, I'm just really excited to get started. So let's go. All right. So first off, the sponge looks like this here. I'm going to zoom zoom you in oh i got this new lens by the way it zooms oh so fancy so this is the sponge it has a flat side right here and then it's just pointed and then it also has a round flat side on top i'm going to get it wet obviously but i think it'll be nice to get into little areas like this and even maybe bake underneath your eyes i don't know so first we're going to do the foundation. I have seen some reviews on this foundation already, but I wanted to try it out for myself. The shade range, I have seen a full swatch video that Luster Lux did. Shade range sucks. First off, there's not enough dark colors in my opinion, but also the shade range for more yellow, olive skin tones is not great. I wear 105 and 205 in Pro Glow and Pro Matte. A lot of people would think, oh, the 305 would be my shade. So I watched another girl who had the same exact shade. Uh, it was Kelly Strack, and she tried it on, and it is a lot more gray undertone, but of the lighter shades, this is the most yellow, has the most yellow to it, and I just self-tanned, so this is what I look like, and anyway, I am going to be blending it with my e.l.f. sponge. I never use a brush, really, for foundation. I do sometimes, and then I just go back over it with a beauty blender, so the consistency is very thick. It's honestly kind of hard to squeeze out of the tube. I'm just going to make some dots along my face. As you can tell, I do have a little tiny bit of hyperpigmentation. Oh, I forgot to talk about the claims of this foundation. It claims to be ultra lightweight and have a seamless coverage. The coverage is high slash complete, so full coverage, 24-hour hour wear, a natural finish, and like air light texture. So amazing claims in my opinion because I wear my foundation all day long, so I want it to last, obviously. And also, so I want my foundation to last all day long. So 24 hour uh, wear is obviously ideal. Okay, so you do need a little more product than I would suggest. Okay, so I think this would probably be good. I'm just gonna put it on my hand now because that was not working. I just, I'm too impatient for that. It's a very moussey consistency. It's very thick. It's almost like the uh, Milani one, but it's a little bit thicker. I don't know how to describe it. Ooh, okay. Okay, look at that coverage there. This side isn't covering as well, but this side has more hyperpigmentation. Shoot, I forgot to put on primer. I always put on primer. Oh well, we're still doing this. There's a little bit of a spot right here that it's not covering very well. I'm going to go over it one more time. And see if it covers. It's pretty dang good, guys. I mean, some hyperpigmentation isn't going to cover even with a full coverage foundation. So this is what the foundation looks like. The color is pretty good. Okay, so this is the sponge. Now, it did grow in size just a little bit. It is nice and bouncy so far. So that's good. For concealer today, I'm going to use the Kat Von D 
Locket uh, Tattoo Concealer. I'm also going to use a little bit of the Sephora Concealer because this um, Kat Von D does oxidize a lot. I don't know if you can see that on my skin, but it does oxidize. So. Okay, we'll just try the under eyes first. So all I'm doing is patting it like I usually do. It's blending out nicely. And I am able to get in that inner corner. Okay, I'm going to try the, I tried it the rounded side, so I'm going to try the flat side on the other eye. I like them both. I like it. It's getting right in that corner. I'm also going to try baking with this sponge to see how I like it. Um... I think I'm going to like baking with the flat side the best. I think it blends just as nicely as all the other sponges I like, so that's good. To bake, I'm just going to use my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. It fit right under there, guys. That's so nice. That's so nice, guys. I love that. You could also really bake the middle of your nose with this because it's so precise. If you wanted to bake down the center so that it can't kind of contours for you. Okay, so so far so good with this sponge and the foundation's looking really nice. I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and see what it looks like with my makeup on. I'm back from doing the rest of my makeup. I actually filmed this look. It is my New Year's Eve makeup look, so make sure to go check that out on my channel. So far, so good with the foundation. I think it looks super nice. The color actually matches really well right now. So one thing I have noticed is that since it is that like moussey consistency, it does kind of settle into fine lines. I mean, a lot of foundations do, but I can see it settled a little bit into these lines here. I'm a very expressive person. So when I go like this and stuff like that, it like kind of settles. So if you have a lot of like wrinkles and stuff like that, I don't know if you would necessarily love this foundation because it is that like moussey whipped consistency. And it looks like a very pretty finish. It's not super matte. It's not super dewy. It's, it's in that neutral, very natural finish. And that's what it claims to do. I think the coverage is great. I cannot see my pigmentation on my cheeks. Right now it is 235. That's about it, and let's get going with my day. So, I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, I am back. It is currently 6.05, and I know I haven't had the foundation on for a long time, but I do think I have an opinion about it. I hope that's okay with you guys. I know this is supposed to be a really long wear foundation, but I actually have to like take my makeup off and stuff. I'm actually leaving my house right now to go to my boyfriend's. Um, so I'm not going to be having my lights and I wanted you guys to see it true to color. So right now I am a little bit shiny, but nothing like really bad or anything. This wasn't supposed to be a mattifying foundation, so that's totally fine. It's like a normal finish. Nothing seems to be, um, separating like around my nose or my chin or anything like that. It did settle around my fine lines a little bit on my forehead. Like I said, it still looks great after about five hours it looks like a really great foundation right now so i'm honestly very very pleased so sorry i had to cut this a little bit short but stay tuned for a bunch of videos coming up and yeah please subscribe before you leave and i'll see you guys in a video very very soon bye